Hey, 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 everybody. It's your girl, Tiasha Janae, host of The Winning Circle here on TWC 24-7 Podcast Radio. Guys, we are so excited right now. We have none other than the Reignite team again. They're showing up and showing out, guys. They need you in this building. So they want to make sure that you don't miss any information that you're supposed to get. So you want to make sure that you tune in right now and find out who's going to be at the Reignite Your Finance Summit. Guys, yes. Welcome back, ladies. How are you guys doing today? Doing good. Doing good. Yes, Yes, it is so good to have you ladies back. Y'all are showing out out there. I've been watching y'all. Y'all events are going going really well. You got some uh, phenomenal people on the platform. We're going to introduce a few of them on today and make sure that they know who all are going to be there and what they're going to get at this summit. So you want to tell them um, kind of just briefly about the summit in general, just to give them a brief. Yes. Okay. So the summit is called the Reignite your finances virtual summit so you guys don't have to go anywhere except log into your zoom (laughs) and um this this was a vision that uh, we've had for a little bit of at least for me i've had it for a while now and i grabbed my girl rashida because we're both passionate about giving the people the right information um and so we accepted a challenge from our coach and we was she was like you got X amount of time to do this thing. And we went forward and we just, you know what? We said, we're going to come together and we are going to disrupt societal norms. Um, And so we're all about making sure that the people have um, access to information that may blow their minds. So for instance, you need a debt strategy that you've never heard of, you know, in terms of, um, eliminating debt, you know, utilizing um, insurance, right? Uh, We also have people who are going to be talking about multiple streams of income that will be on our Saturday um, lunch and learn of how to do that and and not depend on one income stream. You also have people that are coming in and talking about credit literacy and how to leverage it properly and not just be out here swiping cards and operating in foolishness. Um, It's very important. So we have a slew of experts who are coming in that show's gonna be touching on several topic areas, Tiasha. Uh, we couldn't get everything into this one, but trust and believe there will be another one coming and we'll make sure that we level up on that. And we're just passionate about this space. Um, I myself, um, some time ago, fell into a very um, shameful place and I didn't have my finances together. And I, and I had a job and I thought I was doing a thing by just paying minimum payments on my credit cards and saving here and saving there. And that was a wake up call for me. And I don't want that to be anybody's problem. I don't want that to be anybody's plight. And so that is why we combined our forces um, and we've come together to reignite people's finances. Yes, that is so awesome. And I think that... Um... I think that is very awesome because of, you know, it's a lot of people out here really struggling right now. And especially if you have to make your ends, you know, continue and grow even in this pandemic, because some people have lost jobs, some people still have their jobs, but they're trying to hold on so much to what they have because they don't know if tomorrow, if they're going to have that same job, if those the income going to continue. So learning how to manage your finances, how to reignite that thing. I mean, it can be done even in a pandemic. And to get this information, guys, you don't understand the power of financial literacy. So yes, you're going to get a, you're going to get an awesome, uh, awesome word. And I say a word because you're going to get a bunch of them and you're going to be able to pull them together and make things happen. Like, you know, we hear words in financial literacy, you know, we hear boundaries, right, Rashida? Mm -hmm. (laughs) We -hmm. we hear budget. Mm -hmm. You know, these words right here mean a whole lot. And I I just thank you ladies for taking the initiative to pull this thing together because not only do others need it, but we even need it sometimes. Because sometimes we kind of 
you you kind of fall off the bandwagon a little bit. I'm a financial coach, but I know that I too have fell off the bandwagon when something happened and you just want to make sure you got enough or you want to hold on a little long, a little longer and you end up forgetting to pay this or you put Rob Peter to pay Paul because yes. you want to stretch it. And so, you know, they're going to they're going to tell you guys a whole lot of information on what to do what not to do and how to make that that money stretch but you can also manage to pay your bills and and do everything on time like you need to so i'm excited i'm very excited i can't wait to attend <laughs> yes we're excited to have you <laughs> everyone yes. out there come on in um to the reignite summit you guys listen this is um this is a labor of love yeah. um <laughs> and labor is like labor like it, it 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 was not it was not um i will say this it came with its ups and downs but we're we're three or four days away from this thing and god is just god is just amazing he has just been showing up um since last year in my life personally i know rashida has testimonies um, I would have never thought that um, just dropping that one seed and and just just nurturing it and watering it and see it come to fruition today. Um, and we 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 could not we could not have done it without the support of our family and friends and our sponsors for believing in our vision and realizing that people need this information. Um, because I know that I'm always a student. There's always something for me to learn. And you should never walk around thinking that you have it all, right? You should never walk around feeling that you can't learn um, new information and apply it to your financial life. And you should never ever feel that, you know, your mistakes that you made in the past concerning money um, or a financial plan should define you. That that is not that is not you. That will not be you. And so we're breaking strongholds. Um, we we want to empower people to make better decisions. We want to actually have them trickle down that energy and that that that, that knowledge to their children because it's about the children, man. We got to change. We got to ch- look around and see what's going on. All those people on the unemployment line last year and still overflow into this year. We have got there's there's something broken. And if we can create change in just this summit, we're going to do it. Right. And I know we're not popular and I don't care. Right. I know we're out here telling people to crush debt and not. I don't care. Like, I'm going to tell you because I know what that felt like to have debt and not have a plan in place. And so if we can be out here and, and, and tell people that there's a better way to manage your money, that's what we're going to do until we get another directive from God himself. And so, yeah, we're just, we're just honored. We're honored to share this, um, this weekend with some amazing experts. Um, like I said, we could not have done it without them. Honestly, like I, Rashida will tell you, I'm just like, I'm baffled. You know, I had a moment today on a call, you know, I broke down a little bit because I'm just like, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. And I'm stressed, but it's just like God has has brought this thing to where it is because he realizes that it's time that we really, really go forth and do what do the do the assignment, the divine assignment that he has called each one of us to do. I love that. I love that because we definitely do have that. Rashida, you want to say anything? Hey, y'all. Yeah, I just wanted to just say, hey, um, you know, I am your other co-host here. And um, look, hey, guys, this is I feel like this summit is going to be for everybody. There's something for everybody because it's just not about crushing debt. There are some of us that might, you know, be out of debt. Um, I just got some good news from some people in my um, community. So I love it when I hear that. But it's also how to grow your money. Um, look, I'm not going to steal uh, Sean's thunder because, but you know, how to actually use the coins that we have to grow it. And sometimes that even will help us get out of debt as well. And so I just can't wait to hear because uh, Saturday is multiple streams of income. We need to know how to, you know, build, you know, we have to build on a solid foundation. And so yes. some of us may have money. But we may still find ourselves in, you know, certain problems because we our foundation isn't solid. And so we get that sound foundation and hook up with the experts and the people who are here. OK, because um, here's the thing. 
You know, these are people who are taking time out of their lives. They don't have to. They're doing well off by, you know, just doing what they normally do. But they're coming together. We are coming together in order to deliver powerful information to give somebody an opportunity that would never be able to hear this information. Or you might not even be in an environment where you can reach out to somebody physically to get this type of information and this knowledge. I'm talking like, you know, if you don't have $250,000, this is the type of information that, that you're going to get um, because people will charge you. Um, yeah, and, and they have a right to do it because that's what they work, right? Um, you have three hundred dollars an hour to talk to a financial advisor or you know a tax planner or whatever it is on how you can scale up or you know do different things. This is the type of knowledge that you're going to be getting, and guess what? You can get in for what? <laughs> Three ninety nine. Okay, so don't play with me when you y'all talk about. Um, you know, nobody's ever bringing this information to you. Uh, we just got out of a conference last week with um, another group, the Black Women Empowering Finances group on a Saturday. They were giving it up, all the tea, all the jewels from powerhouse women. And so, um, look, I'm going to be quiet because I want you guys to come. So look below www.reignityourfinances.com. Get in there, click on that sign up button and get your ticket and don't come alone. Come with somebody else because, hey, look, if you want to get all the all the tea, then y'all can go to different different parts. You're going to get a digital workbook. You're going to get um, a swag bag. Um, and so, yeah, and it's open to you if you want to get the replays. All right. That's it. Back to you. Yes, 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 yes. See, guys. Y'all better get that VIP package. I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it and so much more, especially if you're like me and you get that information real fast and you're like, wait a minute, I don't remember what you said. And to be able to get that replay, that's that's the thing. You want to be able to take this information with you when you go. So go ahead and sign up for that VIP and get in the door, get in the building. Today, we are going to be not just talking to the hosts or the Reignite teams, um, but we're going to talk to the other um, financial gurus. I love that. They're going to get up here and tell you a little bit about what you're going to learn today. So let's welcome to the stage, Miss Tasha Singleton. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> you're muted. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, welcome. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Yes, yes. It's so good to have you up here. So uh, we also have Sean Milton. Welcome him to the stage today. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Thank you for this opportunity. We are about to set some fire off in this place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. that's what I'm talking about. That's right. <laughs> and also, welcome to D Woods. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. I'm excited to be here. Excited. I'm uh, feeding off of the energy right now, and uh, I'm just ready to give them some 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 serious game right now to yeah. go back with. Yeah. I'm just happy to be a part of the uh, panel. Awesome. Hey, so can each of y'all introduce yourselves? Tasha. I am Tasha Singleton. I am the host of the podcast, The Secrets of Earning Money Show. And it is based on my book, The Secrets of Earning Money Without a Job, how you can get $300 to $1,500 within 30 days. And I am the founder of TJS Financial Solutions. And I've, of course, been in the industry and been a um, entrepreneur, business owner, and a trainer. I've trained people from um, employees of Fortune 500 companies, a global 100 company, and I've been doing this for over 15 years. So, Awesome. Awesome. I love it. See, credentials look really good in the finance industry. So y'all <laughs> listen to these credentials. I'm telling you, that means she got, she got years of experience. So for free 99, if y'all don't get 
into this building, y'all listen, we're gonna have a problem, okay? So, uh, Sean, you want to go next and let us know a little bit about you? Sure, so, um I am the agency owner here at SNS Life and Financial Services, and um, I am I'm, I'm an expert in the area of debt elimination and also tax-free retirement income, right? And just um, alternative investments for retirement. I have been in the industry for a while now, yes. <laughs> and um, what drives my passion? Just to I have a church background. I think. Uh, um, Yvonne had mentioned, I have a church background and um, growing up in the church, especially in the Caribbean, in Jamaica, where I'm from, you know, you're always here about giving that 10% for your tithes, but never somebody to guide you as it's to relate. So what do you do with the, 90, the other 90% or the other 87% after you give that offering, you know? And so you find a generation of poverty always happening over and over and um, and also people not being able to use their money. So. I have just a passion to walk alongside people to see them get debt free and just to see them make better choices and also to educate. You know, so before I start preaching a sermon, which I can literally do out of the air on on finance, I'm going to pass it off to D Woods. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thank you for that introduction. <laughs> Sean. So, I'm D Woods. Uh my actual name is uh, Ladero Woods. I go by D Woods. Uh, so what I've been doing is um, I've been a real estate investor now for a little bit over 15 years. Um, I'm in two markets. I'm in Indiana and I am in, uh, well, I'll be in the Northwest Indiana area, which is closer to the Chicago area. It's where I'm at. That's where I started at. And now I'm in the Fort Worth, Dallas, Fort Worth market and around in the surrounding cities. So what I've been doing is um, I'm going to be talking more about um, how to buy properties, how to leverage, how to use other people's money to buy those properties, um, how to create a residual income, how to create a legacy for your family. Um, I want to talk about uh, some of the some of my pitfalls. I want to be I want to be as transparent as I can be. I want to talk about some of the uh, some of the things that you can hack me for and that you can pick my brain for to uh, to grow. I want to uh, show uh, the uh, the listeners how I generated a uh, income in the just in the last quarter of uh, me and my business partner, probably even in just for the month of February and a little bit of March uh, over eighty thousand. And um, and that was just in wholesaling alone. So I want to really um, give back. I'm excited to be part of this panel right here. And um, the name of my company is DNA Investors. I'm wearing it. Um, I got the catchy phrase from uh, Kendrick Lamar. Uh, you know, the song, I got royalty in my DNA. Uh, the affirmation of that song just kind of sparked it. Um, my grandmother was an investor and I, she really didn't know maybe at that time she was older and didn't kind of know what to do with the properties, but she was given a lot of properties through uh, uh, people who had died or, and stuff like that. And they kind of inherited some of her friends. She inherited properties. And to be honest, my parents had these properties and we kind of lost them, you know, because they weren't educated on them as well. So um, I'm coming back years later behind them and I'm, I'm actually catching the baton or she's or either catch picking the baton up so I can pass it off better than it was handed to me. So in that aspect of it, I'm actually excited to kind of show and share my knowledge and my ups and downs, things that I've been through and um, I'm continually growing. I want to be a sponge and um, I'm just excited to be part of this panel. So um, look, before yeah. anybody else get in there, these are my friends. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. And I can't wait <laughs> till we somewhere exotic. And I'm like, look, I told y'all to get in here. I told y'all to get in here. I'm telling you, between Tasha, Sean, the was y'all ain't even met the rest of them. I already hear Yvonne all the time. How up out? She a powerhouse over there. And man, I'm look. I heard residual income. I heard tax free. Huh. Hello, okay. Charles, legacy, pick a brain, generate some income. 80,000. Look, y'all better listen. You don't get in the right place, Rashida. I'm in the right place. 
I'm going to look now. I don't like to shame anybody, but I'm going to have to get on Yvonne's boat. If you don't get in here, I am going to tell you it's a dang on shame that you did not come. Don't tell me about you. Nobody ever want to give no information and now nobody ever. We always got to pay. OK, this your one time. <laughs> this is your one time Friday. Just come meet everybody. They'll talk a little bit more about who they are or whatever. We have another plug, you know, plugging them in again. Yeah. Saturday, come in for the lunch and learn. Tasha and D Woods. We got our Saturday crew right yes. here. The secrets <laughs> of you know how to make earn no how to earn money. The secrets of how to earn money. Earn money. Okay. And you know, D Woods is gonna be talking about, you know, how to buy the block. All right, and y'all got to come see Sean. He's going to keynote on Sunday, and he has some breakout sessions too, where he's going to show you how to get this tax free, yeah, tax free retirement. Man, look, this, this is what the wealthy do. That's the first thing they do is minimize those taxes. Y'all better come on. Okay, let me be quiet. Let me be quiet. Come on in. Reignitefinances.com. Free ninety nine. Free ninety nine. <laughs> Y'all hear that, right? Listen, we wanna um we wanna just say thank you guys again, like for coming on this platform. I'm so excited to have you guys here. And I mean, it's not just personal, but this is just because of the type of people who you are and who, who I am and you know, the mindset that we have to help others. That right there alone is just so phenomenal and so powerful for me because there's so many people out here hurting. So I'm just excited. Again, I can't say it enough just how excited I am to have you guys here and to have this event going on. Um, we want to we wanna still take a moment to uh, let you guys kind of chat a little bit. Just give us something. You know, don't give us everything because they got to come. Like she said, Rashida said, it's free 99. Like, why wouldn't you? Come get it. Come get the information. Bring your pen and your tablets and write. Write until your fingers fall off. And then if your fingers fall off, use your other hand. We got two hands. So, guys, listen. We want to kind of get into it a little bit um, and let them come up one at a time and just kind of give you a little bit about what you're going to learn at the event. Not everything. Don't give it all to them. But we're going to do that. So, anybody want to go first? Who want to go first? Miss Tasha, you want to go first? Ladies yeah. first. I'll go first. Okay. Of course. Right. How y'all doing today? Just checking. I'm going here all by myself. But yes, so I am Tasha Singleton, and I am here to help you out in learning multiple streams of income. But the one thing that we have to do first is get our mind right so that we can learn how to just earn income. Because a lot of times we are searching for the answer outside of ourselves and we are forgetting about the acres of diamonds that are inside of us. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of that story. I've read the book by Russell Conwell called Acres of Diamond. It talks about an African farmer who always longed to um, be rich and someone found gold and diamonds and he left his farm and sold it for little of nothing. And he went, to where he thought he was going to be able to find the diamonds. And then he came back um, while he was gone. Somebody, the farmer had bought his property, actually found in the stream a bunch of diamonds. He just didn't know what it looked like. He didn't know what they looked like before they became diamonds. They thought they were just black, shiny rocks. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about opening your eyes so you can see the diamonds that you already have. Because a lot of the reason that we're not earning what we can today and we're struggling is because we're so busy that we're focused on the problem that we're not focusing on the solution and we cannot see all the things that we have. And so we're going to talk about your diamond. We're going to talk about you, your thoughts, your skills, and your business that's inside of you. And then once we get that out, we're going to talk about how you can multiply that business in, within you. So. We're going to have a great time on sun Saturday at one o'clock during the lunch and learn. We're going to learn all about how to find our gifts, unique gifts that are inside of us, which are our acres of diamonds. 
and multiply them. And then we're going to go around and teach them to other people. So I can't wait to see you all again on Saturday. Yes, yes, yes. See, that is so phenomenal. I love that, you know, um, being in ministry, we talk about uh, letting our light shine. And, you know, when you think about a diamond, you know, they say we're diamonds in the rough. We have to get rid of that, that the roughness. We got to, you know, sometimes we got to get on our knees. We got to pray. We got to grind. We got to push. We got to, you know, grow. And it, it takes a lot of work. And so I love that you use you know, that the diamond on the inside of us. I love that. So thank you so much. It is an honor to have you here on today to um, let them know what you're going to be talking about. And uh, guys, listen, let's go find our diamonds. Okay. All right. So next we're going to bring up Sean. All right, Sean, let them know um, what you're going to be talking about. All right. All right. Thank you. So for me, I, 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 I want to grab your attention is with what if you could get out of debt within nine years or less without paying any additional money than what you're spending right now? Would that interest you? Would that pull you a bit closer to wanting to listen? And, and that is what um, I'll be... I'll, I'll be I'll be covering on on Sunday, where we're just looking at the strategies of debt elimination, how to make your dollar work more than once. So you're in in because with some debt elimination program, you're just working to pay off debt, and after you're done paying off your debt, what do you have? You just have a free slate, right? But what if you could actually pay off your debt, and at the end of paying off your debt, you still have some wealth? You still have some money in in in, in the pot. You still you, you could make another your, another investment. So in my session, that's exactly what we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do. We're gonna make that money work more than once, and we are gonna put it into 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 um vehicles that can help you. Because like I know sometimes we like to put money in the bank for savings and whatever it might be. But when you look at the interest rate, are you are you really making your money work for you when you put it in a bank, right? So we're going to look at different different strategies that we we can we can look at to to have you save on the amount of interest you're paying to your lenders, having let you get back some of that money, um, build a tax strategy during that time, and also how to all to retire um tax free or to have something in your portfolio that is tax free because we all know this taxes in the future are going to go higher and if it's going to go higher why invest all of your 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 retirement your retirement nest egg nest egg into a tax vehicle so that's all i'm going to say for now get on board get there on sunday learn a ton as you Come with your pen, come with your paper, and I'm going to be there to, to do some medication. <laughs> oh, I like that. You said do the medication. Listen, okay? <laughs> Make your money work for you, not you work for it. Guys, listen. Oh, my God. I just love that. You said we just kind of repurpose our money. We do it. We use it, and we still have wealth. And we're able to use it again. So that's awesome. You know, guys, listen, this is some good nuggets. You guys want to be in the building. They're going to drop some more gems and you don't want to miss it. Okay. So let's hear from D Woods. Thank you, Sean. Welcome, Hi. welcome. Hey, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, hey, I'm going to be picking your brain Saturday. 11 15 11 11 o'clock 11 15 about building generational wealth through real estate uh, single family homes um flip fix and flips wholesales um i've done it all i've worked in each one of those fields um i'm going to show you how to generate wealth using other people's money using strategies learning how to strategize organize management manage your deal and execute it. 
um, there are so many different areas in real estate that you can go in. I want to talk about off market deals where you don't even have to have a real estate license to achieve financial freedom as well. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I want to show you other uh, avenues that you can go, um, that you could create this uh, type of wealth. And you can also create different streams of wealth. And when I say create different streams of wealth, we always want to create different streams because just keep in mind, if you only have one stream feeding you, that same stream can also starve you. So I want to pick your brain. I want you to hack me. I want you to um, come away with some knowledge, definitely knowledge on how to go out and invest. I'm going to tell you some of my pitfalls, some of the things that I will tell you don't do that I did. Um, I have 15 years of experience in it. Um, we call it, well, sometimes we, we say that when we got that kind of experience and stuff like that, we're gurus. I want you to just kind of keep in mind now, right at this point, you are guru becoming a guru, but still just keep in mind what we do is when we do, then that's when we get to where we need to be at when we do and we execute. So I'm going to show you strategies, hidden ways to actually generate wealth, um, through real estate investing. And I'm going to show you ways that you don't have to use uh, too much of your own money on some of these strategies, little to no money at all, basically. So I'm excited and um, make sure you tune in to see what all we got, because there's a lot of great nuggets I'm already seeing here. And um, I'm just happy to be a part of it. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, did y'all hear that? That do root to guru. Listen. Listen, <laughs> and that OPM, who know about that OPM, that other people's money? Learn how to use other people's money. That is awesome. I love that. Guys, listen, if y'all didn't get just this little bit of nuggets that you got from these three right here on tonight that, that catapults you into getting your VIP tickets. Yeah, I said it. VIP tickets, not regular. We can do better than free. Because free will get you in the door, get you information. But that VIP will continue to grow you daily. Because you know when you go to school, right, you get a little bit of information. And then you leave and you forget something. Why not take the information with you? So, yes, we want to do, do that. We want to take that information with us. Let's bring everybody back up to the screen. Guys, I'm so excited. I don't know what to do. I'm just excited. I know you guys are. Y'all got a wealth of knowledge between all of you guys. And I know that you are ready to just give, give away some, some information that is going to not only help other people to understand where their wealth comes from, but to also keep them in a position where they're not falling short in the future. So, you know, like uh, Rashida said on one of the other events, we talked about how, you know, this is not just an event where you just come and hear something and walk out the door. No, they want you to get this pen to paper and they want you to use it to, to um, get yourself in a better position where you're, you're not stuck and you're not stagnant. We got to get unstuck. We got to get um, get from that place of woulda, coulda, shoulda, and who could have helped us and why I didn't. No, no more excuses, guys. We are reigniting our finances on this weekend. Guys, get in the building. As you can see down below is reigniteyourfinances.com. Make sure you go and get your ticket. Tell them your girl, Tiasha Janae, sent you from the winning circle. We here. We in the building. We going to be there. You need to be there, too. You guys got anything else you want to say? You fine? Or she... Now, don't ask me that question because we can talk about this all day. Yeah. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> But, you know, one of the things I did want to just mention, you know, um, you know, this is just three of our awesome presenters. Awesome. Um, just yeah. three. But something that you said earlier uh, that I kind of want to throw out there is, you know, it's help about the people, so many people going through uh, right now. But when we think about it, I, I think a lot of people think the pandemic did the uh, was the problem. The pandemic was not the problem with what we're dealing with. Because see, before the pandemic, 
people, 72 percent of people are what still living paycheck to paycheck before the pandemic 90 percent of people have um debt in their life before the pandemic 70 percent of people you know th there's just so many statistics how many people end up at retirement and don't even have they have less than five thousand dollars in their hands to actually go about and do I mean, what are you going to do with five thousand dollars at retirement when that means you're, they, you know, they say that the last six years of your life, you actually spend more money than you do um, the previous like 20 or 30 years. The last six years. So what are you going to do if you don't have most of the streams of income? What are you going to do if you, you still have that debt and you didn't get that tax-free retirement? It's true. The tax is going to take that little 5,000 chump change that you got. So it's like we have the, I mean, I know, the pandemic did a lot of damage, but what it did, it really just exposed, um, you know, what what it's, it's basically like just having our house without walls. It exposed what was already inside. And so this this summit is a way to try to bridge the gap. You know, not no one up here has to be trying to give this knowledge. Um, they don't have to, but, you know, it's in their heart. Um, they know me. They know, you know, they they know me, some of them and some of, um, you know, they came on board. And so I'm excited about that. But, you know, Yvonne and I really want to change. And so we hooked up with people who um, really want that same, you know, status for others as well. And so um, I just appreciate being here and I appreciate everybody who's taken the leap in the faith to share this event and to come on board so we can make changes um, so your walls won't be so exposed. And so our children's walls won't be so exposed and that we can actually, um, I put my last title and then we didn't really get into it a lot was um, money, power, respect, it's time to ignite. You see, when you have money, you know, you there's America respects the dollar. I don't care. They may say they're all religious and stuff, and but America respects the dollar. And when you have it, that's when you can put people in place. When you have it, that's when we can stop certain things from happening um, to to our cult, our people. Um, and that, you know, our votes, you know, somebody I heard somebody say our votes don't really count. That that that's the front. That's the front part. But a lot of stuff happens in with the deals, right? Money can put you at, at a seat at tables that you didn't even know existed. And so if we can get a seat at the table. That's when we can change and make, you know, make some changes um, about because they're not happening what we can see. They're happening on the golf course. They're happening at the dinner table. You know, they're happening in different spaces that some of us aren't invited to because we don't even have the funds to actually get in the door. Just the binoculars to see the cars passing by. And guess what? You probably didn't even know what you were seeing when they passed by. you, And that's what money can do. And so. I'm excited, you know, that, you know, the possibility of somebody's life can be changed um, with the information that they can get from our, our presenters. Yes. And I, I love that you said that because a lot of people don't understand how money can get you a seat at the table, that it can get you in front of the right people at the right time to help you to, to make things happen because we stuck on, um, the love of money is the root of all evil. And so when they hear that part, that's that's where they stop. They don't think about how God has promised us abundance and dominion, that everything that we had in heaven, because we were there first, we shall have right here on earth. And so when we change our mindset, you know, we talked about that last time. Once we shift our mindset to understand that we are we, we are supposed to have those things. We are supposed to have those things. It's what we do with them that that matters. And so when you have the money, you're in a position now where you can write a check. When there's something going on, you can have a leak in your roof. Are you going to throw the whole house away? Or are you going to write a check? Well, are you able to write the check? Well, this is what this event is going to do. It's going to show you how you can write a check. It's going to show you how you can make your money work for you. It's going to show you how... You don't have to rob Peter to pay Paul. That's what this event is about. And you, and also, I heard real estate. You looking to buy a home, you need to know the steps to take to get that home. And it costs what? Money. 
you know, so it's not about, oh, I just, I don't want to, you know, and, and being a, um, a estate planner, being a uh, life insurance agent, having all of those things on my background, you hear a lot of people say, I don't want to leave all this money for them to run through and do whatever, whatever, but you're not understanding that the people you leave behind your last love letter to that person is I'm either going to leave you with a lot of debts that you got to figure out how to pay for. Now you mad with me and you mad because I'm gone. And then you mad because I left you in a lot of debt. Right. Or is your last love letter going to say, listen, I had all this debt. Here's the money to pay for it. So you don't have to assume the debt. And not only that, here's the house that I left behind. Guess what? It's paid in full. You don't have to worry about the bills. Guess what? Over here, guess what? I got a trust fund set aside just for my children so they can go to college and they can have, you know, um, they can they can do a lot of different things. You know, if they ever get in a situation where they have cancer and they need to write a check for the doctor, those are things that money and writing a check can do for you and for your family. It can save lives. It can move zip codes. If you're staying in a bad neighborhood, guys, listen, I'm not going to preach either. You know, I'm good with it. I just listen. So I, <laughs> I'm not going to go there. But it's, it's, it's a very sensitive topic for a lot of people. And once people understand that it's not about being sensitive to the subject, it's about what information you need to learn. So it's not sensitive anymore. Guess what? Now you are out of the situation. You can help others. Just like Tasha said, you learn and then you teach others. It's no more me, my four, and no more. Time out for that. We have to help our brothers and our sisters, our kings and our queens, get to the next level in their finances so that we will be better off to help our brothers and sisters. So, guys, listen, I'm excited. I, I can't say it enough. I'm going to keep saying it. Uh, I don't even know what else to say other than I'm excited. <laughs> and I can't yeah. wait to be there. <laughs> Everyone needs to be in this virtual space. And if you if you can't attend, tell somebody about it. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm a big proponent of just don't stop keeping all this goodness to ourselves. We need to stop. We need to stop. You don't know. Somebody is going through something right now. They're suffering in silence. They don't even know this exists. Share this with them. This might be something to save their life because there's a cost to not doing so. Seriously, stress is a silent killer. Somebody out here, they don't they don't know how to pay their bill. They don't know how to pay the rent. They don't know about food. They don't have the means to do so. There's a cost for us being silent. We cannot be silent anymore. Anything that I can do with this team so that no one is suffering in silence, be about it. Seriously. You want to know about real estate? We about it. You want to know debt elimination strategies? We about it. You want to know how to use your gifts to, to create income streams? And you know what? It's not even going to be income streams. It's going to be a river because streams eventually dry up. So listen, we got an insurance guru coming through. We have someone coming in to talk to you about your taxes because a lot of y'all out here don't understand how that even works. And you come, need to understand how it works. Look, hold on. Come to the altar. You just come to the altar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know I don't know what more um I don't know what more to say either, Tasha. Like I'm just Tiasha. I'm just I'm I'm grateful. And if I don't say this, I don't know if I'm gonna be on the other side of the earth tomorrow morning. So if I'm not, I'm praying God that I am. I thank everybody just for showing up and realizing the vision and manifesting it with us because the devil tried it. Trust and believe he tried it. He tried it several times over and he's not going to win. And so we got to push this. We got to get this out and we got to help people to understand that no matter what, they will have all that God says they can have because that's biblical and his word cannot return void. And so if you grab onto that thing, if anything else you don't grab onto, just know that piece of it. And so he has entrusted these people here tonight and the other fellow sponsors who could not attend with the divine assignment to help you. And so go ahead and, and get y'all tickets, reignitefinances.com. Get in there. Come on in. Uh, we we want to serve. Yes, yes, yes. yes.
Y'all chime in. And you guys can chime in at any time. Yeah, don't, don't, don't be quiet. Don't be quiet. Don't be shy over here. We we family now. I told you. Y'all hey, y'all, y'all giving a y'all giving the earful. I'm just I'm just taking it all in because this this is really some good stuff. I mean, it really is. And at the end of the day, to me, it's about giving back. You know, it's about reaching back and getting those others. And I said earlier, you know, we got to pass that baton better than it was handed to us. And um, that's what our families, what people around us, what our, you know, people that might not even be a family member, but somebody that needs help and talking about what you came through and, and thinking that, you know, you don't really have uh, something to say about it, or if you're just trying to hold all that information to yourself, I don't want people. And a lot of times we always saying, Oh, I don't want everybody in my business. I don't want everybody in my business. No, in fact, that's wrong. You need people in your business. We need platforms like this because this is how your business grow, (laughs) you know? So, you know, if you keep all of that to yourself or if you're going through something where you don't have insurance, you don't have a life plan and you don't want to talk to nobody about it. We got to stop in ho- holding all that within that stuff got to come out, you know, because like y'all said, it could cause stress. It can cause a lot of other things. You know, I ride past houses every day. You know, I'm talking about houses in our neighborhood, distress homes, homes that other people that don't look like us are buying. You can buy into equity. You know what I mean? You can buy into equity in those houses. What do I mean by buy into equity? You can go in that property and that property may be worth 10 or 50. I mean, they may, you may get that property for 10 or 15,000, but look, I'm seeing them all day where they worth 80 and 90,000. Regentrification is on the rise in our areas right now. And we got to take advantage of it. I just bought a home and I'm, I don't, don't want to get too much into it, but I just bought a home and I got some great returns that I'm going to share about too. I'm going to show you how to go out here and actually get the bag, but not just get the bag, understand how to take that and reinvest it. Don't take it and go back and just go buy a, uh, a Range Rover or something like that. I mean, you know, pay your cars off, do that kind of stuff and keep buying assets and not liabilities. I'm excited, man. Look, hold on. Where my handkerchief at? <laughs> you know how they got a handkerchief? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I'm, now, I'm so I'm glad y'all home. invited me. Yeah, because you know what? I mean, I used, to think, I used to think about, you know, those five love, love languages. Those ain't my love languages no more. Finances and financial talk, that's my love language. When you yeah. start talking about yeah. saving, making, and growing money, that mm-hmm. is my love language. And so that's why yes. I look. Y'all see me smiling from ear to ear because I love it. I'm telling you, I've just yeah. never seen. I'm te- I have never grown up with this type of knowledge. I have never grown up seeing black men and women just dominate and you know see because a lot of times you know us growing up we got picked on from being smart right um you you being kind of like the out you're on the outside if you're, you're smart and nerdy or whatever it is but yeah. like if you know you know if you know a little bit more than somebody else but i just love that all the sharing of the wealth of knowledge here um but i didn't say anything about what tj said earlier this tasha oh my gosh that dot that story you told about the diamonds? Yes, Lord. Ooh, yeah. I was over here in the chat like the acres of the- man, you better preach that because sometimes we look in everywhere else instead of within ourselves. Yeah. We already have everything that we need to do what D Woods is about to teach us. We have everything that we need to do what Sean is about to tell us. And we have everything that we need that you're about to yeah. show us. It just has to be pulled up out of us. And like you said, it has to start with our mind. So I just love that illustration. Ooh, girl, you said that. I was over here like, that's powerful. <laughs> that was so powerful um, that, you know, he went and sold his house and he didn't know what he was looking for. Man, that that was just, that was deep. That was really deep. I was like, ooh, I was, I was just over here like this, but. Man, powerful stuff, D. Uh, D Woods. Powerful, powerful stuff. Yes. Sean, yes. you want to get in there? Oh, oh, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm just, I am just passionate about. You know, in Jamaica, my, education changes everything. In my, in, in, in Jamaica, right? <laughs> my father's house, it's, it's slabbed, slabbed off, 
which means that I could go now and build a house on top of that, oh. right? I could go and build my house on top of that, oh. right? And that is what I think we need to be doing within, in the next generation where whatever our, our highest success is, that's where our, child, our children get to start. I am not of the belief that, you know what, me, I was just about to bust some patwa. Jeez, Lord, forgive me. <laughs> but, but let me try to re reprogram my mind into English. <laughs> I was just about to like go up in the patwa. Look, it's for somebody. Somebody yeah. gonna catch it. Don't worry. <laughs> it is, it is, my life should not be about, you know what? I struggled and I had to struggle through high school and I had to struggle through college and I had to struggle to my next level. I had to struggle to get this house. So you know what? You all need to come struggle like I did so that you can appreciate life more. I, I'm sorry. Look back at history. The persons who we're saying own the plantation now, they handed off riches yes. so that their kids would never join the plantation. Mm -hmm. You know, and you I, say was, that. I, I was in a, in, a, in a seminar last week and the person, mm -hmm. the, 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 the guy literally says, you could actually use insurance to eliminate poverty within one generation. Yes. Oh my God. Wow. Yes. Wow. One generation. Wow. That's powerful. So, so, you know, sometimes I'm in the field where people are like, I can't afford this and I, but you know what? If we, if we change the mindset to, I can't afford this and I'm gonna look for ways to afford it so that at my demise, my kids literally can jump on my highest point of success and say, all right, mommy did this, daddy did that. And I am so happy that I'm able to build from this standpoint. I'm, I'm, I'm soaring already, but guess what? I just got another wave of wind to take me higher. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, I know what it's like. I know what it's like to have to have a family member die, and then you're scrambling for the money. To, to you have to have a GoFundMe. That part. I don't see that happening in the white communities or in the Latino community. It's only in our race. So guess what? We need. To, to be passionate about reigniting our finances yes. and to eliminate poverty. And you know, not, not only that one little stream of income that we're just holding on to or with our dear life and we're hoping that this doesn't dry up because if it dries up, that's gonna be the end of me. We're gonna say, you know what? If this stream dries up, then guess what? I have a few more rivers running running already, so I'm not very impacted, you know? I am not afraid to replace me with my passive income. My God. Because at any point in time, my if, if, if my health if my health gives out, do I have something else that can sustain me? Is, is it the most loving thing to leave my wife with a mortgage? on one pay while she has to take care of me. Come on, let's think about it. Let's get mm -hmm. real in, 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 in here. Let's yeah. think about it. I get sick, my wife has to take care of me because I didn't save a lot, I didn't buy any insurance, and then she has to struggle with that one paycheck because I can't work. Mm -hmm. You better say one, that. One little river ain't enough, guys. <laughs> it's not. And no, it's you're not. right. Oh, Sean, men make more than women, so imagine if you if your income is what's sustaining that household and then you got to switch to her income and she's getting paid less than what you're getting paid per hour that's that's big people don't understand that yep. that's not how things work yeah and then you know? i am six ones so i can you imagine she taking me down the stair up and down the stairs too oh. <laughs> But you know what, y'all? I had somebody say I put in, I put a question out there, and I said, you know, oh, I, I told y'all about this. You know, how prepared are you for your next emergency? And someone said, well, I don't prepare. Um, I believe in God, uh, and I just trust and believe, and I have faith in God. But I don't prepare. To prepare is to perpetually be living into a state of anxiety about what's going to happen next and what's going to happen next. Like, what would you say to that person who thinks like that? Well, well go back and read the Bible about the five virgins. Uh huh. They sat down and they strategically think that, you know what? We don't know when the next thing is going to happen. Right. So we are going to take enough oil in our lamps. So in the event, what we came prepared with runs out. 
That's right. We have something to last us throughout, throughout, throughout that time that we can go back and, and refill our 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 our, our backups. Yes. You know, so by not having a plan, you are leaving your yep. loved ones to put something that they probably are not ready for. Because if, if right now everybody in my family, we are like touching base and we're trying to struggle to make it and we're trying to soar and whatever it might be. Can you imagine if I died and I have like my house to pay off and 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 I have the cars, I have credit cards, and I have probably an, another a property and all of this, and I just leave that for them and probably let's say that I got sick before, you know, cancer, one of those big ones out there or stroke or something that really this enabled me. And you had to spend a longer time to get nurses coming in, to get doctors coming in to all of these things. Mm -hmm. And you weren't prepared for it. Who is going to put that bill? I think that's going to, that's going to put you in distress when you really realize that the bridegroom came and you weren't ready because you had to now figure out how to go look about your finances while you were sick. That's more stress. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. That, that's I've seen a case. That's that's more stress. Stress. Oh my. But you know, the case that I saw was similar to that story. However, the person who was sick, who had the cancer, um, the, the wife was taking care of the, the husband However, the wife passed away before the husband did. Yes. And, and it's so funny because the husband was in such good shape. He, I mean, was he was that Ken doll, okay? He worked out. He ate healthy. I mean, all the time. They went to get life insurance. And he found out he had stage three prostate cancer. Only to find out that the wife, she was fine. She was able to get life insurance. But she passed away going through his chemo because of stress. Mm -hmm. So imagine, imagine like how things just flip. You don't prepare. You're leaving yourself and your family to have to figure it out. And that's yeah. not right. That's not yeah. right. So yes, Sean, that was awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, life insurance can change the world. It can not only change your family, but if you, it can also, if you look at it, you're talking about one generation. Well, we go to shop at JCPenney's every day today. Do you know it was a life insurance policy is the reason that we have JCPenney's today. It yes. is not just about life um, by death, but it's also about living. JCPenney's yes. was going to go bankrupt. And the only thing that he had left, and he found this out going through the bankruptcy pro pro um, process, he found out that he had his life insurance the assets, the cash value that built up in there. He took a loan against that because no bank would give him a loan. Nobody would give him any money. He took a loan against his cash value life insurance policy, reinvested into JC Penney's, and it didn't just change one generation or for one year. It has God. changed multiple generations. Yes, sir. So think about Absolutely. it. That part. So we have to open our eyes to people tell us that this is one type of insurance policy that you never want to buy. Really? It could be the missing link. Yes. So you, it could be your fortune 101. Are you mm -hmm. sure? It depends on why you're buying the policy, where you're at right I, now. Ooh. Just because it's a little, it's not what the mainstream says doesn't mean it's not right for you. Yes. Okay. So insurance can make a difference in your life. And it is going to depend on what your circumstances are, which is best for you. But if you're looking to build wealth in the long term and be able to have a well to go back to whenever you need it, basically building your own bank, then it's time for you to open your eyes and look at the different things that are there for you. Hmm. My God, my That's look, good. when she opened her mouth, and <laughs> yes. when she opened her mouth, <laughs> yes. the gym, no. the gym. No. Yes. Everybody in this room, I'm telling y'all, y'all giving me goosebumps up in here. This is the church that we need to be. <laughs> Cause, I mean, cause here it's, it's biblical. They, I mean, the Bible talk about money all day, but yeah. uh, half the time we only hear yeah. one part of it and we get part. We're getting yeah. condemned. Yeah. And so this is beautiful. Oh my, y'all. Okay, let me be quiet. Let me be quiet. <laughs> Yvonne, so, let me be quiet. So I want to jump in. I want to jump in and say something, right? My partner, who I work with, um, he got a call last week. The family reached out to him and said, "Hey, 
our father had a policy with you, so and he passed, and we're we're calling to see what we can do to claim it. It's very sad, very true, very sad. He had to actually tell them that the father canceled the policy six months ago. Oh no. That this, this stuff happened like last week. I'm not making up something to get anybody scared or whatever. This happened last week. He had to say, I'm thankful that that, was, that call wasn't me, but he had to tell him like, hey, I'm sorry to, to let you know, but your father canceled the policy. And when you look on it, you know, it made me wonder like, what would, I'm not saying that the policy was 100,000, but what would 100,000 have done to that family in that instance, you know? And like when, when, when my wife and I were buying our house um, almost two years ago, we kept on hearing this little thing. People were like, so you don't have anybody to gift you the money? And I, I, I'm like, I'm like, I said to my wife, give me the down payment. And I'm like, what is, like for me, I'm from Jamaica. I'm, 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 I'm like fresh off the, so I'm like, what is gifting? <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. like, what is giving a down payment? Because I don't understand the concept. But, but, bear with me for a little bit here. What if we had a generation of people that could actually gift that down payment for their child? And even within life insurance today, life insurance has changed so much where you don't need to buy another policy to in order to have to have a combined um, coverage. You can buy one policy and it can it can give you cash value. It mm -hmm. can cover you for terminal illness. Yeah. It can pay out if you get chronically um, ill, you, you need long-term care. It can cover you if um, you get critically ill, cancer, stroke, heart attack. You know, so you, we, I feel like this generation, we don't have an excuse to leave our family in a position where if anything should happen, we need to scatter around to, to, to get help. Yeah, you're, you're so right. Uh, so who said that they, that they even insured slaves? I don't know who said that. That was, that was me. Yeah, like, I mean, come on. Get it <laughs> they in. knew your value already. That's why I insured you. Right. So we got to do the same thing. And I know D Woods, you have to deal with that with, you know, real estate investing. Um, how, you know, Absolutely. how does that go into to, to what you do? So definitely that's a good point because you, you need to keep insurance on your properties too, on your homes, um, especially if it's your, your single family home and you own it, uh, enough coverage on that i mean you know we got crazy weather here sometime and um mm -hmm. that definitely you definitely need to make sure you have enough coverage too and make sure you're not overpaying because sometimes it's just good to do your research you know because sometimes i mean we can be kicking out a lot a lot more money on some of these insurance policies and stuff but we also need to kind of uh, pull them to the carpet, hold them to the carpet and, 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 and show their, show what they, what, what, you know, have reveal what you're paying with one to try to make, you know, we'll see what the other one is charging you. So, you, you know, you can even save that way. But what I was going to get at too, is like with, uh, with, with real estate investing, we definitely have to have like, like hazardous insurance and stuff like that on those properties, you know, because we can't really get, um insurance like regular insurance on them when we doing complete rehabs and stuff like that so yeah it, it, it's definitely uh key in my field too as as well so definitely i um i say yeah i mean to have those policies uh life insurance policies is one thing and then also have them on your property your cars all of that stuff you know i mean that all and you know sometimes you know even with the cars you know i'm learning more that you know the gap insurance will cover the car even if even if you, you you you're upside down with your payments so you know these are things that if you go and, and and total that car or something like that you know you still need to be able to walk away from it and be you know free and clear from it so and when you were talking about like life insurance too um i really like the fact that when we was covering that the part about how 
so many people that don't look like us gain wealth. I read about the Rothschilds and the Rothschilds got all of their um, uh, uh, their uh, their money. And I want to say their wealth. That's what I was trying to say. They, they built all their wealth by making sure they had life insurance policies on their loved ones, especially the older ones there. And, and, and if you really look at the story of the Rothschilds, you know, I've read a little bit of that. And that was basically how they became one of the most wealthiest families in America right now, you know? So it's good stuff. You know, I'm learning y'all look, y'all have dropped. I'm <laughs> learning today. I am learning. I, some of this I did not know. And so now I got to go look up the Rothschilds. I got to go read. Oh, yeah. uh, look at McKin. Look at McKin. McKin, McKin used his life insurance policy for the last election. <laughs> See? Okay. See, See, I didn't even know that. Wow. I didn't know that either. And wow. Walt Disney. <laughs> That's what we have a Disney World. It's life insurance. He borrowed against his cash value. Oh, wow. Okay, look now. Yeah. I need a whole, now we need a whole literacy section. Okay, go read this. Go read this. This is so powerful. Yeah. I mean, it's some of the stuff that you don't know because, you know, a lot of people out here listening to certain gurus that tell them, you know, don't do this, don't do that, you know. Um, and so I'm all about, because I'm a people pleaser, so I always like to learn everything that I can. So in effort to, you know, just have the right information, then you can make the right choice. And so, right. you know, you don't have to just be stuck in one way. You do need a strategy. I say, you know, you still need a strategy. As long as you have a strategy, but there are different ways to get there. And it's going to be a different approach to everybody. But this is so powerful. This this is just so powerful. I just don't understand why people have it in their head why they wouldn't want to leave leave an inheritance for their kids. Like that's not even biblical. So I don't understand. My mindset is wrong. I don't understand that. Like I just I don't know. Maybe I haven't been around those type of people, but that's just disturbing to think that you know because one the Bible says we are our brother's keeper. It right. does say that. It says for us to leave it, you know, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children. Not um, his children, you know? his children's children. Yeah, children, it, children's children. The children, exactly. right? The children. So the children's children. We gotta leave legacies. Right. Yeah, and even with right. the Israelites and um the Jews, it said that you know there should be no poor among you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there you should be, we're supposed to be taking care of each other mm -hmm. and building each other up. And that you know the the core is for the outside of of the community. You know mm -hmm. how how many times like we're supposed to be good. Imagine if our churches started preaching that. You know, like helping one another, like for real, for real, right? You know, the for real, like John was talking about. You know, the down payment and stuff. And this is mm -hmm. this is part of the reignite reignite your finances, guys. This is the first year. We definitely gonna have this <laughs> this next year. We part even think about having a retreat. <laughs> Okay, I already know somebody to put together a retreat from, um, you know, two years, three years out. We can always have it solidified. Yeah. And um, look, because y'all just dropped so much tea. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if they don't get in here, people better sign up right now. Yes, <laughs> I love what you were saying, uh, Rashida, because I start thinking about, you know, you talked about a retreat just now. I just left a retreat. And it was well, called footprint, right? And so knowing that there's footprints, yeah. you know, they say people leave behind clues. The mm -hmm. successful people are leaving That's behind clues. Mm -hmm. So as we're walking in their footsteps, we're learning what they what they dropped behind those gems. They dropped. We have to be intentional about not just listening and what we hear but what we read and when we read those you know the books uh think and grow rich anything that got the word think in it i think those are some um some books to intentionally read because of one it tells you to think that's number one and then number two you know the one think and grow rich who don't want to be rich and, you know people got the mindset misconstrued that when you're rich that means um you um you're sedity and you're cocky and you're no how you are when you're broke 
is how you will be when you're rich. So if you are uh, saving money, if you are balancing checkbooks, if you are managing, if you are a giver, guess what? Everything that you were yes. when you had a little bit of money and living paycheck to paycheck, you're going to be just the same way when you're um, when you're rich. So, you know, it's, it's about helping other people being able, like I said, again, to write the check. And that's that's where I'm at. I want to be in a position where if my children came to me and said, Mom, I just found out I have cancer. Guess what? I need to write a check for a doctor. I mean, and not just the doctor down the street, mm -hmm. the one that specializes, you know, that's what we're looking for. Specializes right. those that specialize in a certain area, because when you can do that, that can be the difference between you saving a child's life or a person in your family's life to you paying for um, a burial plot. So we have to know that that money can get us in and out of different situations in our lives. So, yes, you were going to say something, Tasha. Um, yes, I was going to say that we have to get to the point where as people were saying, gifting, you were talking about gifting the house. Well, mm -hmm. I've been to only one, one wedding so far in our community in which the people who, when they got married, the day they got married, they became millionaires. And they became millionaires because that was the gifts that were given by all the guests that attended. Man. Wow. And we can do that. Mm -hmm. We can do that. In other cultures, when you get married, the family is giving you several thousand dollars as a down payment. Others give you a whole house. So yeah. gifting is not something that is foreign or it's just something that we are not used to in our community. But now it's time for us to come out here, get the education, work together so that we can make it a part of our community. It shouldn't be a rare thing to see someone get married and by the time they leave that wedding, they're millionaires. They're starting their life as millionaires. Wow. We can wow. do it. Other cultures do it. That. I've seen it done, right. and I know we can do it on a wide scale. You just yes. have to choose to do it and want to do it. Yes. yes. So, first of all, first of all it starts in your wow. mind. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, it's funny you oh, say that. Say it starts in your mind. It does. It yeah. does. Mindset. Yeah, it's funny you say that about coming together and, and seeing how you can pull resources together. Yes. So I I, um, <clears throat> I do know that there was a, a, a group of um, uh, people that bought land. It was some, uh, I think, African-American people that bought some land, I believe, in Atlanta. And um, I've been talking about it now a little bit, where you buy the land and then you, like, say you buy 10, 15 acres, you come in together, you know, like collectively as a group, buy the land, develop the land, then you live on the land, you and your you and the people who you want around you live on this land, mm -hmm. gate the land up, gate the community up, mm -hmm. the extra land, cut the cut the lots up, sell those lots, pick and choose who you want to live next to you, and then you sell those lots and break those lots up and burn your mortgage. My God. You know, and then, yep. and then and gate the community, get you a, a HOA, you know, make sure that everybody's yard is cut in the front, you know, and all of that. And they pay for that service. And now mm -hmm. what you did was you just created your own community. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you know what? People do. I mean, hey, not I don't see it in our right. house, but right. I know the people in Houston. Mm -hmm. um, there are, you know, the Asian cultures and communities do that already. Like I know several communities in Houston that are just like that. They right. bought the land, they build the houses, but look, they just gated up. <laughs> like this is this is our little area. And yeah. you know, imagine what you could do with that. Like you could have your own school in there. You know, you can have all kinds of stuff um in, in your little community. And it's it's just fantastic. So look, Tasha just gave us a charge, right? The woods is in real estate already. <laughs> We look. I, I can't wait, but what I can't wait more for, for is to, um, you know, just work individually with each one of you all because it's just so powerful. And this is only three of the speakers. Yes. 
That's Ooh. how much. That, that's this is just three. Gosh, <laughs> y'all! I'm telling y'all, I've learned so much. I have yes. learned so, so much. Well, much. Knowledge here. Yes. yes. All right. Look. <laughs> But before we get ready to get out of here, I want everybody to give at least one or my speakers uh, or give us one book um, that you recommend somebody reading to help them in your your area or whatever, even if it's yours. Oh, I, um, I, one of the books that I've, I've been reading, and this is a really good read, um, is um, I don't know if y'all heard of it. Uh, it's the uh, Compound Effect. It's more of like a personal development book where you kind of use measurements, performance, what you're doing, how you set things up, how you actually continue to organize and be a better you. Um, and I think it was by Darren Darty or something like that, but it's called The Compound Effect. Um, I like that book. I had it kind of like I was listening to it on audio a lot because I'm so busy sometimes. So if I'm out trying to get a morning walk or just, you know, in a car and stuff like that, I'm I'm using I'm doing more audio now. But that's one that I really recommend. That's that was a really good book for self-development. OK, who's going next? I know we all trying to think about what did I last read? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find the artist right, too. I, I mean, um, I, I, think, I, think I, me, I want to recommend. Okay. Um, Tasha, you breaking up. Say it again. Okay. I want to recommend um, How to Be Rich. J. Paul Getty is written by J. Paul Getty. It's called How to Be Rich. I want people to understand the concept that it's better to have 1% of something than 100% of nothing. Wow. Yes. I love that book. Oh, that's, that's so good. One. Man. That's a good one. That's fire. Yes. <laughs> the 1%. Oh, she is a brick house. Okay, Tasha, what are you else are you holding back over there? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? I love it. I love it. <laughs> he is holding so much in here. And look, I'm telling you, this I said, I don't know why they have these masterminds because you could just pick somebody's brain. Oh my gosh, I'm in the right place. I'm in the right place. I I love Robert Kiyosaki's um, Rich Dad Poor Dad. Yes, that's a good one. I, I think that revolutionized how I how I looked at money and how I spend money and stuff like that. You know, I want to live like nobody right now so I can live like nobody in the future. Yes. So I I love that book. These are some good reads, guys. And I'll tell you, you know, knowing that um, all of this good information right here, you guys got to make sure that you find those books, that you connect with these individuals right here. Um, I, one thing that I love right now, and I got to say this, you usually don't see a lot of men out in the forefront. And I just want to commend you two gentlemen for um, taking a moment to let other men know, hey, it's not just women that's worried about these finances. That's not just women worried about taking care of their family and their future. That's taking care of um, getting real estate and locking it down for our future generation. This is so big. You guys just don't understand. It is very hard to find men, I mean, men out there locking this information in and letting other people know listen we got to we got to do this for our family we got to do this for our children we got to do this for our future and i just i wanted to say thank you guys for stepping up and being a part of this um event because you don't understand how many people you're going to help save in this um in this event so i i had to say that um thank you guys all for being a part of this platform um oh this is the private chat okay i wanted to make sure i didn't leave nobody out uh, that wanted to say anything before we close out on tonight yvonne you got anything else to say yeah i just want to say listen i mean we we've only given you just a taste of what you'll get this weekend just a taste guys and so if this resonated with you in any way shape or form you will be doing yourself a disservice not to come in and get the rest of it. So we'd be giving you just the, what, the appetizer, they say? Yeah. Um, come on in and get the entree and then dessert. 
come on in. I mean, you know, if you don't even have a paper, don't worry about it because guess what? You're gonna have a, a editable workbook anyway. So yeah. don't let don't let anything don't let any excuses keep you yeah. uh, from changing your financial narrative. It's not worth it. Like I said, there's a cost to you yes. not doing better. There's a cost to you not getting the, the knowledge and applying it. And all of our all of our experts are dedicated, and they have taken the charge to make sure that you have actionable steps that you can do starting Monday morning, if not that day, okay? So thank you again, everyone for being here. Tiasha, thank you for uh, your platform. We honor you for that. And everyone just please, let's let's come on in the room. I'm gonna say it again. If you know someone out there that's suffering in silence, yes. tell them, tell them about it. Reignite, we gotta reignite. Yeah, so they yeah. need to go and they need to sign up today at that lead for slash reignite today. Yeah. yeah. Guys, we're, we're gonna need a copy because this conversation was so fire. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Most definitely. And you know, it so is on Facebook. Also, you guys can take this information, share it to any platform you would like to. Yes. Um, make sure that you tag a friend. Let them know this event is going down. Okay, yes. it's going down. It's like what what uh, D Wood said. He was ready to break the fire. So y'all come get heated up right with this reignite, ignite, he reignite. You know, I'm I'm loving the fire because you know my logo fire. So <laughs> it's very fire. But God bless it. Go to reigniteyourfinances.com. It's scrolling across the bottom right there. If you know somebody, if it's you or somebody you know, listen, don't be ashamed. Don't, like she said, don't come with excuses. We are about to change the tra uh, trajectory of our life, of our family's future. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to start where you are. So if you feel like there's something that you're missing or I don't know how to do that, there's going to be somebody here at this event that can get you the information you need to get you where you need to be. So, guys, do not miss out on this event. I I, I dare you, I triple dog dare you to go get your ticket right now at reigniteyourfinances.com. And I will see you in the building. So, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. You guys can say goodbye. Um, all right, all right. So, guys, listen, listen, listen. As we close this out on tonight, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that are listening in on tonight that um, took an opportunity to just get a taste of what they are going to be bringing to the table. So, guys, listen, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm going to be there. You need to be there. Um, I'm going to be there with my pen, my paper. My, my mind open. And like I said, you have to have an open mind for this because we have been taught and, and, and programmed to not look at money a certain way. But th this is something we have to do, especially now. Um, like Rashida said, that really touched me because we have a tendency to say, oh, let's blame the pandemic. Let's blame all these other things. Well, we're not going to do that anymore. It's, it's about starting where you are, starting with what you have, and taking the first step to get to where you need to be. And these beautiful ladies and all of the gurus that are connected to them are ready to get you there. So do not miss it. Reigniteyourfinances.com. This is your host, Tiasha Janae of The Winning Circle, right here on TWC 24-7 Podcast Radio. You guys be blessed and we will see you later. Bye for now.